Hello guys, this is Precipitator from Rainland Society. This is the first episode of Nerf Physics, where we'll be looking at if putting an extended barrel on a Nerf Blaster actually affects the accuracy. So let's get right into it. So here we are, this is a range of about 8.5 meters, and as you can see, there isn't a lot of wind, but it, even if the wind gets more intense or less intense, both sides of the test will be affected by it. So, I'll see you in the range in a moment. Okay, I've replaced the camera to view the area where I will be shooting my nerf darts. If you see the laser pointer at the bottom next to the grass, the, t the square tile above that is where I will be aiming. Okay, here we go, that's our results. Didn't have a lot of energy in the first shots, electricity, and yes, for those people who are modders, that is an unmodified rapid strike, you are probably all cringing at that, but I get to decide how I do these tests, so this is how we're gonna do it. There's a dart here, and there's some more back. This is my, maybe about 4 meters from where we are aiming at the wall, then there's another one here, and most of them landed here, but they didn't bounce off the wall, they just directly fell into the grass. That's another thing with extended barrels, that they make the bullet fall more quickly, so they don't go as far. Let's see the range. So goes maybe three quarters of a meter to the left and one quarter of a meter to the right so we're doing using this bullet and this bullet over here and just for your information that was with the extended barrel on so I will see you in a moment once I've set it up again Okay, here we are again. This is exactly the same experiment. The wind hasn't really changed, the only variable that we have changed is the fact that now we have no extended barrel on. So, I will be aiming at the same place and I will be shooting with the same power, hopefully. So, let's go. Okay, we've got a jam here. Let's fix that really quick. Oh, that bullet got totally screwed up. Okay, sorry for that. Yeah. The bullets went a lot farther. In case you're wondering, this is what happened to the bullet. It's like this cheap. China bullets, who cares, I've got loads of them. As you can see, all of them went a lot farther, loads of them even bounced off the wall. And the size difference seems a tiny bit larger. So, I will repeat this experiment another few times off camera, and then I'll show you the results. So see you then.
few problems there. Okay, here you go. These are the results. I repeated the experiment about three times for each side. And the one, the bullets facing backwards are the ones with the barrel on, and the bullets facing forwards are the ones without. And I just took the widest one to the left and the widest one to the right. And I came up with the extended barrel having a range of about 14 darts and the one without the barrel having one of about 15 and a third dart. So the conclusion is that a retaliator barrel seems to make the blaster more accurate. Now in the future I will go over this a bit more in a bit more in depth. I can try it inside and I can make the experiment a bit more accurate. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Nerf Physics and I hope to see you in the next one. This is Precipitator from Rainland Society out. It's hard to run and shooting accurately with a camera around your neck. So once again, goodbye. Precipitator for Society out.